Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hello from Pineville, North Carolina again. We are right across the street from the Quaker Steak and Lube, which you may have seen in the previous video. And as promised, we're here at Kmart. And it's a cool looking one, unique looking one. I'm guessing it's because the uh, owner of the shopping center demanded it. It looks a certain way, but I like I it. I demand it look a certain way. Okay, okay, jeez, man. You said demand. Oh, they demanded that it looks a certain way. And Kmart had to deliver and then they closed it down anyway because they're awesome. Is it okay if I go do a video? I'm not your mother. <laughs> well, I don't know. You demand that they... Never mind. Let's go check it out. Okay, here is your Pineville, North Carolina Kmart. Closed in 2016. Right as things really started to turn sour for Sears Holdings at the time. This would be just a couple of years before they would file for bankruptcy, closing several stores, several hundred stores rather, at once, versus just, you know, maybe a few dozen here, a few dozen there, a hundred here, a hundred there. But I like the uh, architecture of this one. It's very unique. And once again, I get tar Target vibes from it, but it's obviously not because you can see the Kmart scar right up there. And there's an abandoned Steinmart over there, but I'm not too worried about that one right now. It looked like that was being used for something, so I'll just go ahead and check it out. Oh, I can smell all the mold in here. I can smell the mold outside here. Hi. <laughs> you see some lights on in there. You can see part of the sales floor, not a whole lot. It's definitely empty. This looks like this might have been the Pizza Hut over here, if, or Pizza Hut, Little Caesars here, the K Cafe Little Caesars, right where that red wall is sticking out, the red and white wall. Boy, does that smell moldy. Wow, does that smell moldy. Let's go over this way a little bit. I wonder what that sign says. I think you can see the sales floor through that open door over there. Now you can see in there a little bit better. It's not the best. Definitely very uh, Kmarty with that smell. It, it, the mold and that like musty odor is strong through these doors. And I'm outside. There's a look directly into the sales floor there. You can see all the way to the back, they just have what looks like security lights on. I'm guessing they've had them on since the store closed. Five years ago now. Go over to the side doors here, or windows rather. We'll zoom in again. Yeah, that had to be Little Caesars there. K Cafe. Too bad you can't really see much better in there. It's just so bright. That truck is breaking hard. <laughs> so that's that. We'll get some pictures from the inside if I can find them. But let's go take a walk down this way and check out the garden center. The garden center was rough looking. This is a nice shopping center, though. Area, anyway. Cherry blossoms are growing. The Z's way back there. You got Gabe's and Guitar Center down that way. You have businesses here. There's a mall nearby, too. This is a lovely area. There's a Best Buy right next door to this. They did a good job, though, of covering up the other scars. I don't see anything else. I saw a pharmacy right there, but you can't really tell anymore. 
You can just see the bolt marks for it. Let's check this out. This is why I get Target Fives. When you see these red doors like that, halfway down the store, Target's known for that. It'll say fire exit only or blah, blah, blah. Take a peek in here. Very empty. I guess it's not for lease anymore. There's a sign that's said for lease, but they have to like flip the other way around. There's a little look into the sales floor, not a very good one. Yeah, you can't see a whole lot in there. The windows are dirty. But that's just how that is sometimes. But this is a new one to me. Never been to this one. Never been to this area of North Carolina. I mean, I've been through Charlotte and all that. Here's your old prison yard here. Definitely a welcoming feeling if you want to go shopping for plants in this one. You know, besides the peeling paint, the mold on the ground, and the puddles of water that don't drain. And having these chain link fences, you know, 10 feet high and... I know the things up top were to water the flowers and whatnot, but you know, when I see stuff like this, it definitely feels like some kind of prison yard. I'm gonna throw Eddie in there and then put electric up on this fence here so if he tries to climb out, he gets zapped every time. Beautiful. I like the little islands and the uh, the islands and the little lagoon there. <laughs> can't help it, you gotta throw a little bit of humor in there. <laughs> I don't know why I do it, I just feel like doing it though. So hopefully you enjoy. Might have to stop over Best Buy for something. I don't know what, but maybe something. Nah, never mind, because their CEO is a bunch of crap too. She sucks as much as Eddie Lambert does. She lays off everybody that's been there for several years, and then hires teenagers and kids that don't know anything to work part-time, no benefits, and a lot less money just so she could put more money in her pocket. So we're at the back of the store. There's really nothing to see back there. So I'm not even gonna go walk back there. But yeah, she would make a good match for Eddie. Likes to screw over people that's been there for years and years. We were watching things on YouTube about employees being there for 20 something years full time getting all these great benefits and then all of a sudden whoop, you're laid off you're fired and then they hire a bunch of teenagers and young kids to come in and make a lot less money and no benefits and only work part time all while she's just raking in all that cash and putting it right in her pocket she is a corrupt CEO and so is Eddie hey but that's big business for you but they'll always win not not to me. Not if I don't shop there. I shopped at Kmart just because I wanted to save this place. And I like the nostalgia factor of going into one of these time capsules. <laughs> but And I grew up with it. Best Buy, I don't really care about that much. Especially because of that. But I guess that'll do for this video. There's our garden shop scar up here, even though you can't really see it very well. See it a little bit. But, oh well. That's the downfall of parking real far away from the building. Way out there. Now I got a nice long walk to go back to. But hey, that works off all those calories from the food I'm not eating. You know, because every place I go to is closed. <laughs> Jokes aside, though, I'm going to try and get Bojangles here. If I can find one in the area. I know there's a bunch all throughout North Carolina, so it won't be hard. <laughs> anyway, there's one last look at the Kmart. I love the cherry blossoms out here. It's springtime. I love it. Summer's coming. It's already in the mid-70s. Got the AC running in the car. 
I'll tell you what, we stayed here last night in uh, the Charlotte area. Man, did we have some brutal storms coming through. Man, it was it was a it was a powerful and energetic night with all the lightning. I'll say that. Okay, well that's going to be the end of that video for here at the Big Kmart in Pineville. A lovely looking area. I know you love the cherry blossoms. I know I love cherry blossom trees. <laughs> Yeah, it's very nice down here. Very nice looking. I like it. Too bad you got one store that's out of business. Well, two, actually, with Steinmart. But you got the Kmart sitting here abandoned. And knowing that corrupt CEO of uh, Best Buy, she'll probably close that store. Supposedly and allegedly, there's supposed to be like 330 more Best Buy stores closing. Thanks, Corey Berry. Yeah, she sucks. She'd be a good uh, girlfriend for Eddie, and they could, I could throw them both in that prison yard at Kmart and uh, electrify the fence so they can't get out. I know. Eddie and Corey would be unstoppable. Mm-hmm. And if either one of you two see this video, you both suck. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Also, I heard... Get at me. I heard that Corey <laughs> Berry is on, like, the board of, like, trustees or something like that for Domino's Pizza, so you're going to try to mess with Domino's Pizza, too. That's all right. The pizza's mad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because people like her. Mm-hmm. So, oh, well, <laughs> now that we're done tearing her apart and Eddie Benchoed apart, we're going to take off and go to our next location, which is a Toys R Us right up the road, and that one she pointed out as well, too. She it looks like my childhood store. Yeah, it's, it's dope looking. Anyway, stay tuned for that video. Take care, everybody. Stay awesome. Okay, right, let's stay. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.